In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at some of the new features available in the SalesLogix Mobile 3.0 release. One of the first things you'll notice is a new navigation uh, bar on the left-hand side, which actually looks very similar to the standard SalesLogix web client. The upside there being is that this should be a much more familiar interface for customers who are currently using either the web or the LAN client. You'll notice they even included the same icons to represent the different destinations uh, over in this navigation panel. You'll also notice that uh, I can collapse the navigation panel using this icon on the top of the screen and now the view is displayed um, in a list format depending on where you started from in the in the navigation panel. So let's go back to that and take a look at the calendar and the new calendar has the day view, the week view, and then a new month view as well. And you'll also notice that for each one of the days in the monthly calendar, it does show you how many activities are currently scheduled on that day. So if you were to highlight uh, Friday the 4th, you will see that the six activities scheduled on that day show up here. There's also a new back button that's sort of like the recently viewed button in the standard client in that it remembers your previous destinations and basically walks you backwards through them. Some people call that the bread breadcrumb trail, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's take a look now at the accounts screen. And so now we're looking at the accounts in the system. And another new icon over here is where your lookups and hashtags are. So I can select one of these hashtag filters and now the list of records that are returned is limited to uh, the field, the type field, and based on the fact that I put in uh, a hashtag in customer it's only presenting me with my customer records. You can also remove the filters altogether and click look up again and now you're going to be presented with all of the records in the system that you have access to. You can quickly just go back and reselect one of the hashtag filters and your group is restricted again. You'll also notice that there's a KPI at the top of the screen and those are available for selection down here at the bottom. So if you highlight any of these KPIs and then run the lookup again, you'll notice these KPIs will reload and so based on the group of records that I've chosen it's now presented me with some metrics uh, surrounding that particular group. For example, there's 87 customers. So let's go back to the navigation screen and look at opportunities. And you notice there's two KPIs in here, one for total opportunities and total sales potential for all of them in the group. If we click on total opportunities, it shows me a dashboard item that says for each user in the system, here's the number of uh, opportunities that they have based on this bar chart. So we get go back one more screen again and if we remove the hashtag or add a hashtag again it will redraw that screen. You notice now we're down to only six so these are the six and they're all belonging to Lee Hogan who I'm logged in as so only he has a bar uh, representing that on the uh, dashboard. So going back again to the attachments area, which is also new, and in here, if there are any attachments that belong to records in SalesLogix that you have access to, you'll see those attachments here. You also have the ability to have lookups on those as well, and you can add brand new attachments now right from the mobile client by choosing Upload. It'll bring up a browser window uh, in, uh, in your mobile device and allow you to up new upload new attachments. So let's go back to opportunities and we'll click into this one interconnect international and this is your additional tabs of information and also if you click on this pencil in the upper right corner you'll shift into the edit mode so you can make changes to this opportunity. So here are your products, any linked activities are going to show here opportunity contacts, notes, notes history, and attachments for this opportunity. Let's go back one more time and the other thing I want to show you is speed search. So in addition to being able to do a lookup in the particular entity area you started from, we also have this wildcard search called speed search, just like you have in the 
regular sales logic client. So I put in the word print and you'll notice it's brought back now some accounts, some contacts. If I had any opportunities or attached files, those would also show up here uh, in this particular uh, results list from Speed Search. So if I was looking for automotive printers, I can click directly into their account. And again, by clicking the back button, I can go backwards through the various screens I just visited during this session because it remembers where I came from to get here. We also have a configuration menu which allows me to determine which SalesLogix entities I want to see. If you don't use tickets in your organization you can click on that and remove tickets and so now in the nav bar there are no uh, tickets. I forgot to save my changes but once I do that I can remove tickets from my view. We'll go back here one more time and save it. And now tickets are gone. You can always bring that back again if you want to display tickets again in the future. Save your change. Back to the nav bar. We've also got a settings menu that lets you clear the storage or cache. So there is some offline capabilities depending on the size of the cache in your mobile browser. It can actually memorize all those destinations you saw us uh, navigating backwards through. Those can be available even if you do not have a live internet connection. All right, so that's a, uh, a demonstration of some of the neat new features in the SalesLogix Mobile 3 uh, web client. It's available for all SalesLogix accounts that have a current maintenance agreement. Thanks for watching.